NCL X1 Large Jaw Tissue Sealer. Indications The NCL X1 Large Jaw Tissue Sealer is a dedicated bipolar electrosurgical instrument intended for use in open surgical procedures where ligation and division of vessels is desired. Indications for use include open general, gynecologic, urologic, thoracic, and vascular procedures. Device Description The NCL X1 Large Jaw Tissue Sealer is a sterile, single-patient-use surgical instrument used to coagulate and transect tissue, vascular bundles, and vessels up to and including 7 mm in diameter. The NCL X1 Large Jaw Tissue Sealer is designed for use exclusively with the Ethicon Generator G11 software version 2016-1 or later, packaged separately. The instrument consists of a movable jaw, 360-degree rotation knob, separate seal and cut buttons, closing handle, and grip housing assembly with attached power cord. The curved jaws are in a normally open position and can be partially or fully closed by squeezing the handle. The jaws are designed for grasping and holding targeted tissue when clamped. The instrument shaft can be rotated 360 degrees to facilitate visualization and enable easy access to targeted tissue. Bipolar energy is delivered when the seal button or min foot pedal is pressed. Pressing the cut button advances the knife the length of the jaws to cut the targeted tissue. Operation Using sterile technique, remove the instrument from the package. To avoid damage, do not flip the instrument into the sterile field. Connect the instrument power cord to the generator and turn the generator power on. Turn the rotation knob to move the shaft of the instrument to the desired position. Place the vessel or tissue at the center of the jaws. Do not grasp tissue beyond the electrode surface in the hinge of the jaws. Do not overfill the jaws of the instrument with tissue. This could result in difficulty opening the jaws, partially cutting tissue, and unintended injury. Squeeze the closing handle until it latches and a click is heard to clamp targeted tissue between the jaws. The instrument is now ready to seal. If the closing handle is not fully latched, this may result in improper sealing and thermal spread. Do not turn the rotation knob when the closing handle is latched. This may damage the device. Press the blue seal button or min foot pedal to energize the jaws and begin coagulation of the targeted tissue. The generator gives audible feedback as energy is delivered to the clamped tissue. Continue to depress the blue seal button or min foot pedal until the activation cycle is complete and a second tone is heard, indicating energy has been stopped. Release the seal button. To reduce the possibility of an inadvertent activation of the sealing or cutting mechanisms, do not place your finger on the seal or cut buttons until the jaws are in the desired position and activation is intended. Fully press the cut button against the grip housing. The knife will advance to the cut line. After the transection cycle is complete, squeeze the closing handle until it unlocks. Do not press the cut button until the end tone is heard. If the knife is advanced prior to the end tone, this may result in an incomplete seal prior to transecting tissue and lack of hemostasis. Cleaning For optimal performance and to avoid tissue sticking, clean the instrument jaws and distal end of the shaft with a sterile, moist gauze sponge throughout the procedure. If tissue is still visible in the clamp arm, use forceps to remove residue taking care not to actuate the instrument. Do not clean the instrument with abrasives. Do not immerse the distal tip in liquid, including saline solution, to clean. This may result in damage to the instrument. Do not activate the instrument while cleaning to avoid inadvertent user injury. Post-procedure. Disconnect the instrument from the generator. Dispose of the instrument and its integrated power cord in an appropriate sharps container 